Yo, we still got time. We still got time. Um, cruising through. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, man, we perusing through uh, the parking lot looking for a little park. We still got about 15 minutes before um, 11 o'clock. And you already know what happens Saturday at 11. The joint happens. That's where we all take our L's. Well, not all of us, man. A few, a few of us will make it. Uh, you guys will get your W, and that probably gonna be the only W you get for the whole year. So you want to sacrifice your, your uh, W now. You want to sacrifice your L now. You want to collectively keep your W now. Anyways, man, we combing through the parking lot, looking for a park. I'm about to pull into outlets. It was popping, man. This is uh, outlet two for the day. Probably the last outlet that I'm taking to the house. What's poppin' homies? This is your boyfriend, Nitty, back in the building. I'm at the outlet, uh, Nike Parents outlet, um, off International Drive. Before we walk inside, man, I just wanna give you guys a quick heads up. Um, less than a week ago, depends when you're watching this, but a week ago from when I'm shooting this, there was a senseless killing, man. An Under Armour employee was fired early that morning. Uh, he was a manager and he decided to come back hours later in the evening and retaliated and he killed an innocent person, which was the assistant manager to him at the same store under armor, which is directly across from the Nike outlet that I'm visiting. Um, he fleed, uh, they wasn't able to get hold of him, but um, a quick Google search uh, provide me details and, and apparently he may be deceased as well. It looked like he took his own life. Uh, they found him in Fort Pierce or something like that. I think that's further down south. Um, so yeah, he was, he scattered Monday and there was no way to, there was, they couldn't find him. And um, they found him, uh, I think yesterday, that would be Thursday or Friday, I apologize. Um, so that's the update. Now that's not official as I'm reporting this, but by the time you watch this video, you know, the whole story will be laid out from beginning to end. Um, sad news. I don't want to bring, be the burden of bad news, but I just want to inform you guys that you guys are hearing about this outlet in the news most recently. All right. Um, sorry about that noise. We about to go inside and um, make this rejoiceful. That's even a thing. See you outside. Peace. Look at this Tesla, man. White on white. Not bad, bro. Looking real nice. All right, man, I promise you, we're gonna try to make this, or these vlogs a little bit better, yo. Goodness, yo, it's kinda windy out here. I apologize for the wind if you're not hearing me. Doors are wide open. It's waiting for us. What's up? Hey, what's up, what's up? All right, y'all, so we in here. We in here. Take a look at some clothing jackets. Four percent off of sixty. So that's thirty dollars for these joints. Um, check, please. What else? What else? We got some sweats. Take some look at some ACG. We got the tees. What are hitting for? This is thirty. 50% off, okay. Oh, the hoodie, yeah, I got the orange joint. I don't, I don't mind copying another one. Oh, how much are they, though? So it'll be 25, I might cop, may cop, man. Very good quality. These joints are thick, a bit oversized, but it's worth it. All right, so we're gonna walk back towards the shoes and see what's popping, man. Right now, I can tell there ain't no damn retros, so. <laughs> it is what it is, man. You got these retros React joints. Now, I haven't seen these joints here. What's these? The Pro Cho Max 720s? Okay. Patent leather joints for 80. The Shadow Backboards is. <laughs> these going for 80. And generic joints. I call them generics. Nobody care for them. They're not retros. These joints are light as hell, man. They're going for 100, though. 
Yo, you got the fanny pack slides for eleven dollars, man. Oh, and additional thirty percent off. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna buy this just so I can take a vacation, man. Take a cruise, man. It's twelve dollars for thirty percent off, man. So it's gonna be like what seven dollars for these fanny pack uh, slides? I don't see my size though, man. Size eight, eight. Oh yeah, I think the black joints. Is it the same six oh one? Yeah. So I just need to get them in the size twelve. La da. Oh, here's a size 12, man. Can't beat it. Lob City. These shoes are crazy. Well, damn, this one feel a little heavy. It must got some, yeah, they got that little display shoe tree in there. Uh, but that's for 100, multiple sizes there. Vince Carter's. Anyways, Nike Shop. Green box. White and blue. They're cool. Did I just rhyme? Kyrie's. $55. Pass. Oh, here they go. Full size runs of the Fair God Mox. So right now, I'm gonna have to pause this video because guess what? The joins upon us is, uh, I set a timer for like uh, 10.57. So it's like 10.58 right now. So I'm gonna resume this as soon as I enter the drawing, man. So I hit y'all right back. I'll let y'all know how I do. Peace. All right, so I, I enter the drawing. We'll see what happens, man. I got like a minute left, but I ain't gonna sit there and wait for my results. Anyways, man, y'all already know I bought this shoe. I rocked it, man. These shoes are dope, man. If y'all don't have a pair, man, y'all sleeping. If I got the tens, I guess that's a consolation prize for these. But <laughs> I think these are better than the tens, in my personal opinion. That's just my opinion. But moving on, um, taking another look at the basketball shoes. Bone posit uh, twos, one oh nine. So they got these. This is actually gonna be the cheapest I have ever seen them. I think I'm gonna pull the trigger again. They're going for. Eight dollars with additional thirty percent off. So you can get that pair, or you can get this pair. Eighty dollars with thirty percent off. Pick your choice. Pick your choice. What else? What else? These are new though. I haven't seen these in the out. Well, one other store I've seen them, man. But they're they're not cheap as the other ones. These going for ninety. The bread joints. And before I enter the drawing, man, they had these mocks. And I was going to go over these real quick. Now I'm not a fair god. Um, Aficionado. I don't follow him. Um, Lorenzo, Jerry Lorenzo, I believe his name is. I mean, I, he makes good shoes, but I just don't get in the hype. It's not something I would rock. But anyways, man, they're full-size run if you guys care to purchase any of these shoes, man. And then that other outlet that had the Skylons. I don't see the Skylons here, but just give you a heads up. Anyways, man, we'll comb through this aisle. Airspans, Cortez for... 60 leather's crazy uh, more Cortez I haven't seen this one this is just a big old red swoosh 119 then you got the Falcon on there for 100 boxes are cool different style boxes which is unique and what else man what in the world I don't think I've seen these joints what are these Air Max Touch 4 for 60 more yep more Touch 4s all right Air Shock 4s Neymar Jr these are cool they feel very good in hand too, man. Very sturdy, 150, multiple sizes. The all white joints I have seen before. Other spots, 125 is the price. The NZEUs, I guess New Zealand, Europe, I don't know. Multiple sizes though. Uh, more Air Maxes right here, the 95, which I'm not a fan of. Fan of, which I'm not a fan of. Pass on those, these are cool. They're going for 100. The 98 joints, these are cool. Nah, these are all right. I think I want to get a pair though, man, but I got to be real cheap or cheaper than this at least. And which I do own, I think I got mine probably roughly around the same price if you do the math for this and what I pay for mine. It's gonna be roughly around the same price, man. Now, this is a childhood shoe of mine, man. They're going for 160. These are the Tailwing Fours. Um, I think I already shown you guys and I already talked about this shoe. I had some pictures, be walking my dog in these pit in this shoe. What threw me off was when I read about this shoe coming out, it's like, it's the first release of this colorway. And I was like, nah, that can't be. I own that shoe. And I knew I did. And I went searching for the pictures and I found it. And there's only 112. So I don't know if it's going to make it. Now nah, I would love for this shoe to go on sale, man. So I can cop it, man. And 160, I don't know if I want to pull that price though, man. It's a dope shoe. I don't think it's worth 160 though. Even for nostalgia values, I don't think it's worth that much. Um, do any y'all like these 200s, man? The only 200s is one I showed y'all earlier, the South Beach joints, the Jordan South Beach. These both are going for uh, $75, though, man. 
I'm not a fan of either of the shoes. Multiple sizes on both though. Multiple sizes, man. They're probably gonna stay here for a minute. You might see these go to 97 where they can hard discount them again. This one's getting the end bin discount. So I just learned about that. So, well, I kind of knew about it, but I already know how to explain it. But now I think I can fully explain it. So anytime you see this 97, man, potentially this shoe can go on sale. So they call this the end bin discount. So that means that anything with a 97 can get additional 30% off. So that's why y'all see shoes that have additional 30% off and other shoes don't. Example being the shoes I want. You don't see the 97 at the end. So this won't get no additional discounts when they have sales. But shoes that ends with 97 you will see additional discounts on those further my point 89 97 30 percent off but no 97 here so just a little tidbit hope that helps back in the car what's well, nothing left to record um yeah so let me give you a quick update so those off-white fives no bueno, didn't get them. We're not selected. Yeah. Somebody want my parking spot. So, didn't get them, not selected. So, uh, that's a wrap. So, I'm gonna take it to the crib. Enjoy the rest of my day, man. Let me give this lady this parking spot and I'll wrap with y'all later. Peace. All right, and we're back in the sneaker office, man. Just currently left the Nike outlet. It's a wrap for that outlet. Uh, friends and family is upon us. You already know friends and family can save 30% off your entire purchase. Um, if you want to know where you can get the coupon for friends and family, check your Nike Plus app. If you outlet shop as frequent as I do, you already know you can pull up into your Nike Plus app on your phone, whether it's Android or iPhone, and open up your inbox and you can see friends and family. And you can use that at one particular store. Unless you have multiple accounts, then you'll have multiple access to use more than one friends and family but for the norms like myself i only got one account so uh, it's gonna have to make do i have to pick and choose which outlet i'm gonna go to to utilize that savings or that 30 percent savings but other than that man i got an early look for you guys man got an early 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 look now this is pretty much a constellation prize a third place winner prize from the last week uh all-star weekend extravaganza uh you already know the off-whites drop the air jordan 85s drop the pack drop some of the stuff that even came out on sneakers but you know for the stuff that did we people in the nation people in the united states and you know probably if you got a vpn you could probably do it from other countries as well we attempt to get some of these shoes in most than like more than likely we all struck out including myself but i got a third place winner man wasn't a shoe i really really wanted but Nike offered to me, uh, I forget if it was during the slam dunk and three point contest, which would have been the Saturday, or, or I doubt it was an all-star game. But anyways, man, these are the LeBron 17 lows, the Toon Squad joints, man. The predominant colors of this shoe is red, blue, and white. The midsole is all white on both pairs. The laces are swapped out with both blue and red laces. Um, they do come with an extra lace bag. You can find that on the right shoe. Uh, these is a combination between the two set. Well, not between, but there's a combination of the 270 Air unit and also the Nike React on the forefoot. Uh, I did get this shoe to play basketball, but it was tough to put this shoe on the foot, man. I tried one shoe on and it was tough, man. Um, embedded in the shoe for the insole is the Nike Toon logo on both shoes. You can find the exact same logo on both type shoes. The colorway is supposed to represent the theme of the uh, Space Jam uniforms that Michael Jordan wear in the Toon Squad. That was the theme of the particular um, colorway, and that's what this shoe colorway represent. You also find LeBron's signature on the tongue on both shoes as well. Um, back heel shows LeBron logo along with the pull tab. The air unit, or the air, the 270 unit is also red on the back heel of the shoe, uh, which is cool, which, which is cool. There's a little bit of touch of the Nike swoosh that you can find on the, uh, towards the forefoot. Uh, the most unique thing about this shoe is the actual bigger swoosh that you can find both on the medial and lateral side of both shoes. It is a fur material, a fur material. You already know that is prone to catch some dirt, some dust, some dingy foot, particles <laughs> from the court uh, i'm not sure what was the concept it could be buzz bunny fur because he's a rabbit i don't know i don't know the whole concept behind the fur um i don't think that justify or make the shoe more bigger or more notable or make it you know must have in my opinion i don't think so 
But anyways, man, these shoes uh, are supposed to drop on the 28th, I believe, which is a Friday. So you're looking at like a whole nother week before you can even get these shoes on the sneaker. If you try to get these shoes sooner than that, and if you didn't win join All-Star Weekend on the sneaker drop, you're going to have to go to StockX and pay below retail. Imagine that, man. Getting a shoe that haven't came out and paying below retail. Now, they did retail for $170, which I paid plus tax plus shipping. So I'm out that. I'm out of, you know retail gang i'm out of that amount but nevertheless i don't think i'm going to keep this shoe i would offer it to you guys but you guys are able to have it within a week and you guys can go on your nike um stinker app and purchase them from there so there's no need to offer this shoe and i think this shoe is going to be widely available i think anyone that want this shoe can get this shoe it's going to be a, a bigger release during the 28th of february other than that that's pretty much it just want to show you guys these lebron 17 lows uh, i think this is the first low colorway that came out for this particular model. I am a fan of the highs, preferably the all red pair. I prefer the all red LeBron 17s, man, the upper, the highs. I like those shoes. I would like to get my hand on them. They are significantly dropping low in price, but I don't think the red colorway is available anymore. I would have to pay retail gang if I want that shoe. But anyways, man, thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me talk about this particular shoe that I didn't want, this third place winning shoe. Of all the shoes I could have won, I ended up getting these, which, I guess it is what it is. I mean, I did hit purchase and I did win. So, I mean, the least I could do is give Nike my money. Or they could have said, nope, we don't want your money. And I think I would just been as happy. Any old ways, man. Thanks for pulling up. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Everyone, everyone, keep leaving your comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap.